So what we have here, folks, is the start of a motorized Hobie Kayak Passport 12. So one of my farmer's market finds, I found this electric fishing motor, Ted Williams, five bucks, variable speed. It does work. All I had to do was put a battery clamp on it and it ran. So we're now taking it apart so that we can make our modifications and see what we can do in the spring with this puppy. So stand by. I'll check back with you here in a moment as we uh, work our way through this mod. All right, so here we are, take two. First one didn't save, so here's what we're working with at the current moment. This is the uh, insert for where uh, your Hobie uh, pedals go. Um, I've stripped this down, this Ted Williams electric motor. Got this down. So the eyes are deceiving as well as the heart. So it does not fit exactly the way we need it to however it will go in if you get it in the right angle it certainly will slide on through I don't know if I caught that on camera my concern is and I may or may not be able to get it out with one hand is when I want to take this out and switch up the pedals why one would want to do that well, in case my battery runs down I don't want to ride around with a ton of weight in here but it will come back up and through um, get the right angle um, I may I may I'm not sure I don't know how much metal I have to work with here but I may just take a my grinder and just smooth that down just a hair get a little better uh, clearance on it but so far it looks like it's going to work what I got to do next is I got to trim this joker down I got to see how far I need to have it hang below the kayak and then uh, trim this down I'm going to use the uh, register or the block that it came with we'll see if that holds if not then I'll have to make something else to uh hold the motor in place when in use stay tuned i'll be back as we continue through the modification so i've marked some lines on this stuck it back down in there measured again make sure i got the right height obviously we'll have an adjustment screw so we can go up or down with it but obviously you want to make your cut right the first time on this because i don't want to worry about trying to flare it out and then extend it so just make sure your measurements are right and your depth of your uh, prop is where you want it before you start cutting stuff. <laughs> Just using a regular old pipe cutter to do this. R1 brand. Uh, just go easy. I don't anticipate cutting my wires this way. Just wanted to show you how I'm doing it. No cutting wheels, just a normal old plumber's pipe cutter. We'll do the trick. All right, and there you have it. Wires are unscathed. You see, it's a pretty good uh, thickness on the pipe there. So, just regular old pipe cutter. Take your time, go through it. So, all right, on to the next step. So, here's where we are at this point. We took the stock plug that comes with uh, your kayak when it's shipped to you and we hold out uh, straight through to make sure that the shaft would fit through it fitted it first um, we got it to where we were I was contemplating putting some foam inside of this block but I want to see how it works without it first because I can always go back and amend that uh, one thing we did run into some challenges with uh, with a paddle paddle uh, 
bit. And what we end up doing was I put a couple screws in here to reinforce it, a couple uh, stainless steel self tapping screws. And underneath of that, I epoxied it just to make sure that it doesn't separate anymore. Um, so I'm fairly confident it'll hold the motor. It's not like it's a 110 or 112 pound thrust. So, all right, we're gonna keep moving along and I'll keep posting in until uh, we get it ready for a uh, water test. All right. You say, well, what's going to hold the motor? Well, it actually has an adjustment. I am probably going to end up putting a wing nut on here so that I can adjust it easier, um, up or down. But there we go so far. You see what we're looking like here? We got some clearance on the bottom. Uh, light's not so good right now, but. All right, here we go. Let me put the head back on here and see where we go. All right, got the head back on the uh, unit here. Got him set up in place. And should have some power to it. Huh? So, turn them on. Got some uh, propellerness going on there. Figure out how to hold it in place while we're moving. For sure. So, so I like the variable speed so I can slow him all the way down. Slow him down. Stop. I'm going to go reverse. Alright, we're going to go reverse. Steer by hand or I can steer by rudder. Choice is mine. 